If you're looking to level up your streaming or gaming setup, then the Fifine SC3 Gaming Mixer could be for you. Now I'm pairing it with the Fifine AM8 microphone, which I have reviewed in a previous video, which I'll leave the link to it in the description below. The days are gone where you'd get an XLR microphone like this, and then you had to buy the phantom power source like this, which was essential for powering up condenser microphones like these, which require that extra voltage, typically 48 volts, to operate their internal circuitry. And that was delivered for the same XLR cable that carried the audio signal. At the time, and still in some setups today, it simplified those very setups by eliminating that need for separate power supplies. Now you have products like these that, as well as doing all that sound mixing also act as a phantom power transmitter to your condenser microphones, whether that would be dynamic ones like this or even older ones like this. First off, the design. This lightweight, sleek, black finish, which also comes in white, and it's got a compact plastic build that won't hog desk space with those rubber grips on the bottom, so you know that it will even stay put even when you're pressing those 12 rubber buttons or pushing one of the four audio sliders. And it does have RGB lights, which can be changed to different colors or this multicolored arrangement, which I prefer, or even off, but who wants it off? At the top of the front panel, there are LED indicator bars, which will show you the active noise levels for inputs on the left side and outputs on the right hand side. This mixer doesn't just work well, it's got that aesthetic to match. You'll look like a pro streamer, even if you're just chatting with your squad on Discord. As we know with things like these, it's not just about the looks. Functionality wise, the SC3 is a powerhouse. It's a USB mixer, meaning that it's plug and play with most computers. There's no need to mess around with external sound cards or complex setups, just plug it in and you're good to go. And it's fully compatible with most XLR microphones and microphones that have a quarter inch thread and microphones that can be connected via an aux lead. Now I've got the Fifine AM8 here, which I'll show you how it sounds with this shortly. Now in the box, you'll get most of the cables that you need, except probably the most important one, the one that connects this to your microphone. So you get the USB-C to USB-C cable to connect to your computer to the mixer and an aux cable to connect to either your headphones or your line in and out device. Now just remember that you will need to purchase that XLR cable separately if you do get this and you haven't got one with your mic. Now this mixer gives you lots of control over your sound. You've got those independent volume dials for your mic, whether that's a standalone mic, which connects via the XLR port, where you select dynamic or condenser, depending on what type of mic you've got, or a headset, which goes into the headset port. And as mentioned before, there is a 48 volt button on here that lets you enable and disable the phantom power if your XLR microphone requires it. You can also connect a line-in device like a phone or something via the 3.5 millimeter port at the back, a pair of headphones, but also via another 3.5 millimeter port at the back, and a line-out device like speakers, and yes, via another 3.5 millimeter port at the back. And it's all powered via the USB-C port, which can go straight into either your computer which I'm using a Mac Mini, a PlayStation controller, or a mobile phone. This is my setup. So I'm currently recording from the audio on the Fifine AM8. So this is my setup. So I've got the AM8 right here, and I have the SC3 right here. So it's currently on standard at the moment, so I am monitoring it with my headphones that I've got on here, and that is going into the Mac Mini over there, and I'm recording everything on Audacity, so that's currently recording, that's what you can hear my voice right now from. So as you can see, it's got all, all the RGB lights on here, and it is currently monitoring my voice, so I'm speaking into the microphone now, so you can see this here, although I can control up and down, I can mute it as well and make it higher. You can still get the live audio levels right there. And then I'm also monitoring it on the headphones and you get those live audio levels right there as well, even though I can mute it so I can't hear myself speaking. And if I increase it, then I can hear myself speaking really loudly. So I'm just gonna put it down to that level there. And then all of these three buttons here 
our mute button. So if I want to mute the microphone, I press that and you probably, it cuts out the audio here. So the audio that you're currently listening to is coming from this wireless microphone that I've got on here. And if I press mute again, that brings back the audio and I'm speaking through the microphone. And I haven't got a line in at the moment, so that's currently set to there. But if it, something was plugged in, then I could mute that and unmute it. And this is the line out, so I can also mute and unmute it. And obviously if I don't want to hear myself through my headphones, I can mute that, I just press that. And then I can't hear myself talking anymore, so I'm just gonna press that back on to enable it. So now I can hear myself talking through this microphone. And that is the, if you've got a condenser microphone that requires that phantom power, you would just press that to enable it. And when you do press it, it goes wait, and then phantom power is enabled. But obviously this is a dynamic microphone, so I just I don't need it. That pressed. And then we've got electric. And then there's the different pitches that you can auto-tune your voice to. So if I, I don't know whether this is going to sound any different, but let me know in the comments below whether my voice is changing through every time I press it. So I'm just going to keep talking. So that's C, that's D. I'm just going to go through the different, so we can cycle through them all. And then if you don't want it on, you just press and hold it. And then that turns it off. So this is the RGB function of the mixer. So right now it's set to that multicolored. If I press and hold it, it turns it off. And I'm just going to press it again. And that brings up back to that multicolored. But if I press it once, it will just go through those single colors. So that transition of different colors. If I press it again, it will just stick with one color. That one's a nice one. There's that multicolored one. That's the one I prefer. And I think there is a light underneath here, yep. Which also reflects to whichever setting of the RGB that you've chosen. And the fun one, that is voice change. So I'm gonna speak in the microphone here and then every time I press the button, we're gonna see what the sound, what it sounds like. So a male voice, it's gonna make me sound more male than I am. So this is the male one. So this is what it sounds like with the male voice change enabled. Does it make me sound more male or less male? Just let me know in the comments. So the next one is female. So let's, this is what the female voice change is meant to sound like. So how does that sound? Does that make me sound like a female? And the next one is female. So we can all be quite familiar that this sounds like the generic sort of robot voice. Um, and it's like if one or very novelty sound. So what do you think of it? What is it something like you'd use? And then this one is monster. So this is what a monster is meant to sound like. So. And then this is what a baby sounds like. So you might have heard your favourite content creator or streamer try and kid people with baby voices so this is generally what the voice they use to do that sort of thing and then finally an elder so we go from baby to elder this is what an elder person should sound like uh, just let me know in the comments below whether the voice change is something that you would use and then finally Let's change out of back into the normal voice. And then finally, we've got those custom buttons. So you've got A, B, C, and D. So you've got four custom buttons there to put any sound in that you'd like. And as I said before, if you want to record that sound, you just press and hold the, the button, whichever custom button you want to put it in, and then it will record whatever sound input. So I'm going to say something to record into this as an input. So um, let's just say, let's just say, whatever comes to mind. Scooby-dooby-doo, Scooby-dooby-doo. So 
that was the first thing that came to mind. So every time I press that button, Ooh, Scooby Dooby Doo. Ooh, Scooby Dooby Doo. And then if I want to set something on custom B, Scrappy Doo, Scrappy Dooby Doo. I don't know why I'm thinking of Scooby Doo at the moment. So, Scrappy Dooby Doo. Scrappy dooby doo. Ooh, Scooby dooby doo. Scrappy dooby doo. And then the same again for custom C and custom D. So those are the features of this SC3 mixer. Let me know in the comments below what features would you use? Would you be using that auto tune mode? Would you be using the voice changer mode? Or would you be using those custom buttons? So who is this gaming mixer for? Well, if you're a gamer, streamer, or content creator who just wants pro-level sound mixing without breaking the bank, then this might be a mixer for you. It's simple enough for beginners, but offers just enough to keep advanced users happy. Plus, let's not forget the RGB lighting. Your setup should sound good and look good, and with this, it will. The Fifine SC3 gaming mixer is an absolute game changer when it is paired with an XR microphone like the AM8, or even even something like the Tank 3. It's like having your own little studio right on your desk, and maybe a good upgrade for someone who may be just using a headset at the moment. If you're interested in getting this for your own setup, check out the link below for more info. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.